this video, Ken finds a giant shoe. We're now standing in Port Noffa, and to my right here, I look at a big organ. Is that the giant's organ? And we're both having a debate about cows. What's that mean? It means Port of the Cow. I can tell from all the cow pad that is around here. This is the Giant's Causeway, and over one million people visit it every year. In this video, we're gonna find the bits that people don't visit, the bits that people don't know about. Now this place, George, used to be the beating heart of the causeway. The road that people go along today, down to the stones, that didn't exist then. There had been a road that the old bishop had put down there, but that was all overgrown and not negotiable. So to get to see the stones, tourists, when they came here, were brought down into Port Nabo, and there were boats there that rowed them around to the causeway stones. <laughs> Behind me is the Windy Gap. Why is it called the Windy Gap? Because the highest wind speed in the whole of Ireland has been recorded here. That's over 90 miles an hour. That's over 155 kilometers an hour. So if you come over here and it's raining, don't bring an umbrella because you'll be doing a Mary Poppins all the way to Scotland. If you look behind me to my left here, you can see the Stukens. And you can see, if you follow the skyline along, there is almost like a figure crawling up the Stukens. That figure, the old guides here, told a tale, it was Finn McCool's granny. And she was crawling up there with a bottle of whiskey in one hand to perch herself on top of the Stukens to keep an eye on Finn as he built the causeway to make sure that he never slackened in his work. So another unique place of the Giant's Causeway is Port Gani, right here where we are now. Also translated to the Bay of the Sand because it's one of the few places in the whole of the Giant's Causeway that there is any sand. There used to be a lot more sand here in the past, but all of it has been washed away during the storms. Another unique feature of this area, and especially in the north coast of Northern Ireland, is the foam that comes from the sea. The ocean churns up the water, makes it like whipped cream, and throws it out on the rocks. We'll give you an example of that in just a minute. And if you look carefully, there's graffiti on the causeway that dates back way, way back to 1878, when a certain John Orr from Belfast left his mark on the stones. So that is the wishing chair. So there are three rules of making a wish here. The first one is don't wish for something outrageous. The second one is you don't have to tell anybody. And the third one is you have to wiggle your butt three times, okay, in order for the wish to come true. I'm not gonna do that right now in case there's an accident. We're now standing in Port Noffa, and to my right here is the Giant's Boot, so called because apparently it's the boot of Finn McCall. The boot has been measured, and it's been worked out that Finn McCall was over 54 feet tall. The keystone, that's the only stone with nine sides, and if it is removed, legend has it that the whole of the causeway will collapse. The Giant's Well was where the Old Marys were to be found. Now, those Old Marys at the Giant's Well, they sold water to visitors coming down and they gave them a free shot of potcheen. That's illegal Irish whiskey. They charged them for the water because they couldn't charge them for the whiskey. And often when people try to pay for it, it was really strange, but they never had change of a pound. Mm -hmm. 